well, we're gonna hit G and we're gonna move it. Or you can let's hit X. It moves it forward, so we could put the incendiary ground. I'm sorry, we could put a grenade inside. So we're gonna hit I. I brings up the insert for location, rotation, and scale. Now you can put the scale, but that wouldn't help us in this situation. But if you have a situation in which a bone grows, scale works. A rotation, like a, a turning hand of a clock, that works. And then we have location, which is basically the G key for travel. G key is location, R is rotation, and S is for scale. Just remember that if you're moving around in here. So from here, we're going to hit I, and we're going to I use all three sometimes just to keep me safe. And then we're going to move on to, all right, which frame is this? We're gonna move on to second frame. Let's you can left click here, or you could left click here, or you could sorry, you can actually use these down here. So I'm a little tired today. And we're gonna move this here and back in the default position. Or rather we're gonna hit Alt G. Alt G, Alt R, Alt S. It sets everything back to the main location. That's the reset button for you. Just to remind you. So we're going to clear the location. We're going to send it back. Alright, so we're on, um, we're on the second frame. So that means we have had one animation made so far. So let's move on to the third one. What you see happen here was it reverted back to the last um, known animation. That's because we didn't set it properly. So we're going to move it back. And we're going to hit the I key and set it properly. Now on the left, you'll see that we have two animations. So I'm going to move this one here. And actually, no, I'm going to move one of some frames. I'm going to move this one here. And then I'm going to install, sorry, add on the... The location, rotation and stuff. Then I'm going to move on to another frame, 7, and we're going to add it again. And you'll notice over here there is a line. Now this line means from this frame to this frame, there has been no change in animation. Everything's been the same for this specific bone, which is bone um, 001. Now, one nifty feature that I found a long time ago, I didn't understand it at first, is the recording key. Now, with the recording key, you specify whether you want to replace keys or add keys. So then, if you're doing a model that uh, rec and you think like one of your keys are uh, a tad bit off, you go to a frame and you move it wherever you want to move it. That's replace. Now, the add replace means that you're gonna do full-on editing meaning if we go back here to this animation that we chose in this spot or go here which it was in a different spot but let's go back here because it's uh it's different just by hitting G left clicking to leave it alone and hit R it automatically records that so we can go from here to here and it'll be just where we left it without even hitting the I key. So the animation will look like this. The Bezier curve smooths it out, makes it rougher like I said. Um, sorry, not the Bezier curve, the IPO curves. The Bezier curve is just many of IPO curves. I don't want to get into that right now because it's a little advanced and it's a bit tedious. But you can just take a look over here on the side and get freaked out by how tedious it is. Or you could not get scared. But doing your animations, just keep this in mind. Split area. We're going to split this area. I'm then going to add a text editor. Where is it? A text editor. From the text editor, I open up a new. And then I'm able to keep notes. Just like you see at the very bottom right hand corner, what it does is 
helps me remind sorry it reminds me where everything else is so that when I jump into the exporter I can put everything in properly like let's go to the main model this is the this is the main model right here that's fire just like I wrote down previously, I go back and forth to make sure I get it put in, or I can split it here. Actually, yeah, I'm not gonna split it here. It's a pain in the butt. But this is a reminder. It pretty much works out for me. And it also works if you do this if you want to find some things. Now. I'm assuming no one's exported, so I'm gonna export. I'm gonna highlight everything by hitting A, make sure everything's highlighted, and hitting update. Update should pop out a skeleton. What you do is you click skeleton, you select uh, animation like uh, that we had before, and let's move on to this one. Actually, no, this is a better choice because this is actually completely done. So I put in the times and I put in the names for these animations. Now, it is very important to remember how many frames an animation has because if you have a main character, you, sorry, it's important to know how many they have because you want to template everything. That's the biggest thing I stress is that everything should be a template to some extreme by making everything a template in like uh, reload actions let's make every reload action um, hmm. in fact let's say we have a 10 second reload action that means the main character should use 10 frames to reload the gun should use 10 frames to reload the ammo should I mean everything should use 10 frames to reload if you are use that gun with that person or character it makes sense to have everything synced um, so that's definitely important, especially naming them because Neo Axis, it likes if when everything else is named, it's just the way it is. Hmm, alright, I'm thinking what else. Alright, exporting, I'm assuming no one exported here. Copy textures, I'm not sure if it works, I haven't messed around with it. But I use engine materials. I don't use exported materials. I make sure this is always clicked, the XML converter. And then I also remember where to send it. Because that's pretty important as well. So now that you've added your animations, with the add key, you put in your times and everything, your names. It's important to move on to save. Because for some reason, if you don't save, like, it acts weird. Like, you just need to save it, then export. Or export, then save it. And then, because if you double export, it gets sloppy. I don't know whether it's my version or what. Alright, so other than that, I think I've covered everything. If there's anything missing or anyone needs to know, feel free to put it in the comments. Um, well, I need to update my version of Blender. Need to do that. So some things I hope the I hope nothing's confusing. Like I got said just leave any questions. I hope this is enough. If not, I'll just remake it and I'll add in everything else in sub notes. Alright, so you'll have